Now, the latest from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Naomi Peskovitz with your daily news update. A community corrections field officer is out of jail this morning after being arrested for sexual misconduct. 60-year-old Isaiah Christmas turned himself in yesterday to the Howard County Criminal Justice Center. He was charged after a female detainee assigned to community corrections program filed a complaint. Christmas bonded out of jail last night. Visitor restrictions will stay in place at the Marion County Hospitals as Indiana's deadliest flu outbreak in decades continues. The latest numbers out from the state health department show 11 new flu deaths in one week. That raises the total number of deaths to 108. And with several months to go, that's already a big increase over the 70 flu-related deaths in Indiana last season. The majority of the victims this year were over the age of 65. Downtown Indianapolis is now swarming with gymnasts from across the country competing this weekend. The largest gymnastic meet in the country is going on now through Sunday here in Indy at the convention center. 120,000 gymnasts compete through USA Gymnastics. It's a huge group. It creates the pool of the best athletes in the world. The event is free to the public. The stars who will compete for a spot on the Olympic team compete here first at the PNG Championships in August. We do have a link where you can learn more. It's at WTHR.com. And while most of us will be inside staying warm today, others will brave the cold wearing only their bathing suits. Hundreds will jump in today for the 2015 Polar Plunge at Butler University. It's all to raise money for Special Olympics. Last year, they raised more than $28,000 for the organization. Registration starts at 8.30. Plunge starts at 10.30. Have a great day.